Okay, so I'm, I'm at the beginning of the game and uh, I'm going to show you how you can access the locked areas in this game before you even complete the first mission. One of the ways to do it is over here. Actually, two of the ways to do it. So what you do here is you get down on this brown metal part and you start running towards the end there then you jump on the uh, gray piece that's over there to the right all you need to do here is run until you reach uh, the end of this bridge There is in fact uh, another method to jump here, but it is a bit more tricky. It requires uh, you to press multiple buttons and I'm going to show you exactly how. You need to press, uh, you need to walk forward, press the attack button and then the jump button and then the replay button in a very quick succession and then press the replay button again and you should uh, jump all the way over to the other island at the docks over there so what you need to do here is you need to start walking from here somewhere over here and you need to aim slightly to the right of that black object that you see there in the distance i will zoom in so that you can see uh, if you aim in the right spot uh, Claude should uh, jump uh, in a way that doesn't kill him if you aim uh, too much to the left he might die he might hit something that kills him so let's just try it now that was quite successful actually uh, you can do another jump here press the same buttons again then you can grab a car and uh, travel to the other island if you want. Okay, so for this third method, uh, you need to get an ambulance. And you can find one at the hospital here. And then take the ambulance and head towards the tunnel that should be, that is locked at this point in the game. And once you get here, you turn around and you park the ambulance like this, back against the wall here, then you get out, you jump on top of it, and then Basically, you have to jump until the plot flips all the way through. Okay, that's perfect. So I, I ran uh, towards uh, the front of the ambulance and then Claude uh, tripped or something and he flipped through the roof completely. And as you can see now I am on top of the tunnel I can just jump over that now if you move the camera down uh, as you can see everything disappears but if you keep the camera up the tunnel appears again so you can now just uh, run uh, towards uh, Staunton it appears that I'm in inside the bridge but that's actually not the case but if you jump down here nothing will happen to you but you will uh, spawn right here, out in the streets, which is great, because now you are in Stonden. For this next method, we need a police car or a taxi. And then you also head towards the tunnel.
once you get here on top of the tunnel, you slowly back up your car like this. I said slowly. And uh, if you exit at the right time, something uh, cool should happen. That. So as you can see, I clipped through the tunnel and now I'm somewhere. Where am I? I'm on top of the tunnel. Yeah. So I can just walk over here. As always, keep the camera up so that you can see what's happening. You can jump over and uh, you're back uh, on top of the tunnel. So you just need to run all the way over there, then jump down and you've been stunted. For this next method, uh, you need a car like this. Most of the smaller cars work or should work. You can get a taxi or a stallion or something like that. And uh, you need to go in here, back up your car like this, and back it up against that uh, sharp corner of the building. That should do it. And as you can see, the car is uh, touching the wall to the left. Now what you need to do is hold down the reverse button and press right and just like that the car should clip through the floor and you're back here on top of the tunnel. Switch camera modes so that you can see where you're going. And keep going like this, then jump down. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good actually. I uh, spawned right here in the street. For this next method, uh, you need a taxi. This method requires you to start the side mission and uh, picking up a passenger from somewhere. Okay, maybe closer. Where is it? But the passenger needs to get uh, uh, in the front passenger seat, otherwise this glitch won't work. So as you can see he's getting in the front. And then instead of going where the mission tells you to, you come here to the crusher and you back up the taxi like this. You hold down the mouse wheel button or uh, there are actually other buttons that you can use to look behind you and you keep, uh, pre keep you press and hold the look behind button and you keep it pressed and then you exit the car while still uh, keeping the button pressed and enter back in again and as you can see the crusher tried to uh, take the taxi and crush it but I got back in and now because that happened uh, this car is basically it has no collision so you can drive to, to walls and stuff and fall to the ground what you can actually do is just drive through the wall there there's no boundary for you easy as that. Okay, so this last method involves another mega jump. Uh, so you get up here on this ramp. And what you're supposed to do is uh, aim somewhere uh, around uh, the docks area and uh, you walk forward again. should do it. That's actually pretty lucky that I got it the first time. Uh, so for the ending of this video I will actually show you a few more jumps. Actually one more jump. Okay, so the jump you need to do is uh, over here slightly further than the tunnel, where the tunnel is marked on the map, and you 
go some uh, a bit higher on this cliff here and uh, you walk forward again punch and you are in shoreside it's pretty cool huh thanks for watching